everybody, E here. Welcome back to another book review. Today we are talking about The Weight of This World by David Joy. First and foremost, this author is fantastic. Um, if you like uh, if you like literature, period, you need to check him out. But if you're a fan of Hicklet or whatever they're calling it these days, a uh, darker literary side of like redneck noir, if you dig that kind of thing, I dig it quite a bit because <laughs> this book might as well be about uh, half of my family, if not more at this case, at least my side of the family, if not Shell's extended side of the family. It deals with everything you're going to deal with um, when you get w around these type of people. You got the uh, the prejudices, uh, the drugs, the, uh, the, <laughs> the, the activity that is less than legal, um, I speak especially about the, uh, there's something having to do with copper in here that we are, we are dealing with in our area right now. We're dealing with the cop, the copper problem and the book pretty much opens up, not, not exactly, but, uh, there is a copper thieving situation going on in there. Definitely not a main plot or really a spoiler at all. Um, with Aiden and Thad, I have to say, I didn't care much for either one of these guys, but I absolutely loved reading about them. Um, they both have their issues, they both have their problems. Aiden's a little more on the, uh, the likability scale until he starts, you know, just bitching about Mexicans. Um, damn Mexicans coming to steal our jobs, and he's supposed to be like the, the hero of the story. Not really, I don't guess the hero, but he's the one you're supposed to be rooting for, the one you're supposed to feel sorry for, I guess. Um, with David Joy, I've, I've come to find out that I have to be in a certain mood to read his kind of stuff, because I live around this stuff. This is like my day-to-day, -day, um, are these people. Um, but I... I do know that I can't read David Joy back to back, and it has a lot to do with the emotional quality. He writes really, really dark, dark stuff. Um, and there's there's a scene in this book that made me. It didn't really make me put it down as much as I was like, "Wow, yeah, okay, I'm gonna take a step back. I'm gonna take a breather, and we can come at this from a new angle." I didn't expect it to get that crazy so early on. Um, the, but the main thing that I remember about the last book of his that I read, which was uh, Where All Light Tends to Go, is that it had a really, really bleak ending. Um, now, with this one, I would say it's maybe a little more hopeful, um, but not really. It's still a very dark, dark book. Um, and I have to be in the right uh, frame of mind for that type of book. Uh, it's kind of like reading the Bachman books uh, from King. I have to be in the right frame of mind, and I was in the perfect frame of mind to read this one. Um, I, I've said all that to say, there's nothing wrong with this book. It's a perfect book, in my opinion. Five stars, easy, I didn't even have to really think that much about it. Um, the things that I love about this, most about this book, is its honesty. The way it deals with, you know, the, the prejudices and the, the problems inherent in situations like this. It's also a great arguing point for when uh, you'll, you'll hear a racist person saying, well, there's a reason why, why the ghettos are full of black people. Oh, okay, pump your brakes there, sister soldier. Uh, there, there's just as much crime and terrible shit going on in southern majority white areas also. So it, it tickles me when people, it doesn't actually tickle me, but I find it extremely odd when people ignore the bad parts um, of certain areas based on, or, or promote the, you know, only the bad side of certain areas based on their, you know, their own prejudices. So I, I find that interesting and I appreciate the way that Joy is just dealing with broke ass people, you know, there's a certain there's a certain type of mindset that comes along with being, you know, generation, generation, generation broke. You know, you, your people have been broke all the way since you know since God created them. That kind of that kind of thing. But um, there's, a, but like I said, the main thing is just the honesty. It feels rooted in reality. The way this is the way these people act. This is the way these people talk. And it feels, it, it feels honest, just like with Jasmine Ward. Her stuff feels honest. 
It doesn't feel like somebody taking a side. It doesn't feel like someone harping or preaching or any of that stuff. Now, there's some great turns of phrase in here, nothing I would call preaching. But there's some great stuff in here that's very literary that made me stop and reread sections probably two or three times just so I could make sure that I grasped the full, you know, breadth of what he was trying to get across. David Joy has quickly become one of my favorite authors. I remember the very first time, it was his fishing book that is supposedly hard to find nowadays. I found it in a doctor's office, and I ended up stealing it from the doctor's office. I believe that's that's what happened. Either that or it was given, and, given to me at the doctor's office. I did not leave the doctor's office in the same frame of mind. They gave me a bunch of drugs, as I did, you know, that, that when I went home. I did, uh, I did not leave in the same way I arrived. So I don't remember how I got the book. I remember it was at the doctor's office and then I brought it home with me. So if I stole it from you, Doc, I'm, I'm sorry. I don't even remember which one you were. I just remember it's the doctor's office. Anyways, um, so I had that one, but I've since lost it. And uh, when we moved up to, I think is when we moved up to Maine and then moved back down here, I got lost in the in the uh, in the move but where all light tends to go is a fantastic book I think I preferred this one just a little bit more um, if you're looking for a completely dis a disturbing gritty uh, hard felt life lived that kind of if you're looking for characters like that definitely pick up anything by joy if you're looking for something that is just going to rip your heart out of your chest, stomp it on the ground, set it on fire, and then piss on it to put it out, that's going to be where all light tends to go. Uh, this one, it's more a bucket of water than it is, you know, a stream of piss putting out the fire kind of deal. It's a little bit nice. It's a little bit nicer, uh, but I think I prefer this one because of that. And I normally don't rank hope above hopelessness um, usually, but this time I'm going to. So, have you guys read? Uh, the Weight of This World uh, by David Joy. Have you read anything by Joy? Do you like it? Do you not like it? If you don't like him or the book, please go into detail about why you do not like it, um, especially since I liked it. I like to know the opposing viewpoint, and I would love to hear someone's argument for why this book is bad. I, I don't mean that sarcastically. I would love to hear it. So, um, but yeah, leave all your comments down there in the doobly-doo. But until next time, I have been E, you have been you. This has been another book review. I'll talk to you guys later. Bye-bye! And for those people who get upset when I just, like, throw the book all around, here's what, here's what it looks like. I hope it's all nice and prettified and all framed up and everything. Look at that. Max, if you're watching this dude, I, I'm glad you grabbed a copy because this book was amazing. ¿Dónde están mis pantalones? Adiós.